Uh, then we have Capricorn. We're coming to the top of the chart, and again, just in, maybe just you, it's not on the screen right now exactly, but remember the whole thing about the uh, wheel and the clock. So we're at the top of the chart. So think of noon. Remember, noon's at the top of the chart, midnight's at the bottom of the chart. So if there's a child born tomorrow morning, maybe someone in the family is being born, a distant relative, and they're going to be born between that time period of 10 a.m. to noon, or because of the time change, right, it's really going to be uh, 9 to uh, 11. But 9 11, you know they're going to have some leadership skills immediately. You know this child needs to be seen. High noon means no shadows. There's no shadows. The sun is directly ahead, and we're all bathed in light. So this is often a sign of someone who wants to run the company. They're generally not the best employee. They'll do what they need to do because they always want to ascend. We think of the uh, think of the mountain goat. Is associated with the sign of Capricorn? The concept of many small steps. So they come in the door as the in the postal mail room, and immediately from day one. They're making inroads on how to get to that next level. So they're very strategic people. They're building their image. That's what the focus of this house is. Uh, the 10th house is another house that it talks about the parents, the influence of the parents. Uh, interesting, sometimes I do a baby's chart. Some people want to give somebody a baby's chart. I look to the 4th and the 10th, and I talk about, it's an interesting perspective. Of course, I give the reading to the parents. But I'm describing from the child's perspective what their role is going to be with that parent and how that parent's going to impact them. So it's an interesting concept there. But it's leadership skills, it's the public reputation, uh, it's, it's the, all that is seen. Someone with a son in the 10th house, we generally know more about them. Go back to the son in the 4th house, we may not know. They might do what they do and be low key. But son in the 10th, a lot of people probably know who they are and what they do. That doesn't correlate to money, though. I want to make that clear. It's not that I'm wildly, someone loves me. Because the Saturn, or the, excuse me, the 10th house sun can be quite strict. They can be a little dictator. They're oftentimes the person who wants to make up the rules. Uh, go back to your childhood. We all had these friends, right? That, you know, you were going to play a game, and all of a sudden they had all these special rules that they were going to put into play. It wasn't no longer just tag. Now we have this rule and that rule and this rule. They make up rules. Now, in a corporation, sometimes that's very nice. It makes up rules and creates some sense of stability and uh, predictability of what's going to happen and how we're going to deal with this policy. But oftentimes they look like past masters. And uh, a lot of people just like, I can't handle one more rule change coming at me. So the son of the 10th house loves to create rules. They want to create structure. They like to build things. They want things that are going to stand for a long time because it represents their identity. Uh, they like to work with organizations where they can move up. If they're in an organization that doesn't have that option, then uh, you know they're more apt to go out and just do it on their own. They need, they need a ladder. They need a very clear ladder. And if they're in a position for X amount of time and see they're not going to go in place, they've got to withdraw and go into an organization that has a ladder, so to speak, to ascend. Uh, I think, uh, anyway, Son of the Tenth House, do we have any of those? Huh? Uh, I gave this example here. This is a, an architect. Uh, he's in Texas, but an architect that lives in Texas. And he's had a very traumatic career, I would say. Been an architect, college degree. You know, I think his father was an architect. They built many schools, many schools in the whole school district. And so their name was synonymous with the school. They built a school, it came from their firm. But, but they fell in rough times at one point. And you know, it would have been clearly, and this rough time lasted for you know almost a decade. So it was clearly anyone else who thought they would have just left and gone off and done something different. You know, I mean, because they were, you know, a decade of, you know, of not being, having good work. I mean, that's not enough to challenge anyone. And this is the guy who did not, but his son is sitting up there with Mars. Mars is on his son up in the 10th house, and that is all about stick to I'm going to hang in here. This is who I am. I'm, you know, I'm never going to be. Now, he made his practice look differently. He obviously was forced to over time, but I'm happy to say still he's still an architect and still has landing jobs these days again. So it's interesting just to see that visibility factor that's so strong when we look at the 10th house. 